I'm Kota. On that day, I saved my younger sister Manami and got ran over by a car. Manami is three years younger than me and is so cute. When Manami was born, my parents lost interest in me and they decided to use all of their time and money on her. I'd rather spend money on Manami instead of you, Kota. If you want to go to university, you need to earn the money yourself. That was their attitude towards me, so I was working hard part-time. I got into university on a scholarship program and kept earning all the money I needed to make ends meet. It was unbelievable how good of a person Manami grew up to be, despite how her parents raised her. She always cared about me. Oni-chan, use this money. You need money to buy books and go out with your friends, right? Manami, thanks, but that's your pocket money. I have a part-time job, so there's no problem. We could only have these conversations after our parents went to bed. When they were awake, they would fly over and kick me out of the room just by talking to my sister. Hey, Kota, I know Manami is cute, but you shouldn't have such feelings for your sister. Kota, stop! Don't touch Manami! If you want to have a girl, you can go to those kinds of district in the town. What is that? I was just talking to her just as normal siblings do. Manami has to marry a wealthy person as an innocent girl. You know that my company hasn't been doing well recently. Exactly! Manami is so smart and so beautiful. Some rich person has to marry her. If you do anything to her, all of our plans will be ruined! Ever since, my parents blatantly treated me as a nuisance. They wouldn't have any food for me, they would go on trips without me. They were really terrible parents. Sorry, Onichan. They forced me to go with them. They even took my phone away so I couldn't contact you. That's not your fault. Were you able to enjoy the trip? No, how could I enjoy it without you? Both mom and dad are really mean. I was so annoyed with them, I didn't speak a word during the trip. <laughs> I'm already healed just by hearing that. We began to talk to each other in the park outside of our house. This was the only time in the day that I felt relaxed. But the car accident changed everything. On that day, I was coming home from work when I saw Manami walking in front of me. I was rushing towards her to talk with her. And at that moment, I saw the truck coming. Manami, careful! Huh? Oh no! I quickly pushed Manami aside. As I did so, the truck hit me and I went flying. It got even worse when the truck ran into an electric pole, which fell on top of me. Onichan? No! Somebody help! Onichan! Onichan, hang in there! Due to this accident, I'd lost one of my legs. Sorry, Onichan. This is all my fault. What are you talking about? You did nothing wrong. I'm just glad that you weren't hurt, Manami. Manami supported my life in a wheelchair. However, my parents got furious when Manami tried to come to the hospital with me. There's no need to be bothered with this guy. Let him go in a taxi. Exactly! People might find out that we have a disabled person in the family and decide not to marry you. At that time, my parents were trying to arrange a marriage for Manami. They were trying so hard to hide my existence that they were going for people who were from a different prefecture and didn't know much about our neighborhood. Onichan lost his leg while saving me! Why can't you be kind to him? Shut up! I've already told you that my company isn't doing well anymore. Once I lose all my money, I won't be able to pay for Kota's treatment either. Exactly! If you don't marry someone rich, we're the ones who are in trouble. Not only that, but Kota will also be in trouble. Stop trying to use me in order to manipulate Manami! I'm fine on my own. Manami, you don't need to worry anything about me. I couldn't stay there anymore. I moved into my company dorm. I was lucky that the CEO was such a nice person. He reformed the place so that I could get around with ease. I also have knee problems, so I can imagine how tough it is for you. Tell me if you need anything. Thank you so much, sir. I'll work as hard as I can. My coworkers were also very understanding and I gradually got used to living in a wheelchair. Manami also contacted me often, and sometimes brought food for me. We were always on good terms being together. However, I realized Manami was feeling down. What's wrong? Is there anything that's bothering you? Actually, it's been decided that I'm getting married. 
Oh, well, congratulations. But wait. Yes, it's with somebody my parents chose for me. But that's not the worst part. What I'm really upset about is... I was shocked by what Manami told me. What do you mean you're not going to invite me to the wedding? Oh, Kota, you're still alive, huh? Great timing. I was just about to tell you not to come to the wedding, whatever happens. They might cancel if they find out we have a disabled person in our family. But I want to see my sister getting married. I want to properly congratulate her. I definitely won't cause any trouble. We're telling you that your entire existence is trouble. Her fiancé works at a famous company and owns a lot of real estate. Once they get married, he would support us too. You have to understand you cannot ruin such an important marriage, okay? This must be true despair that I'm feeling right now. Monami, uh, I'm sorry I can't be a part of this celebration. No, Onichan, you didn't do anything wrong. Onichan, I can't keep up doing what they tell me to do anymore. I accepted the marriage, but I can't stand the fact that they won't allow you to come. Onichan, can you do me a favor and help me out? Huh? What do you want me to do? On the day of the wedding, I was at the venue. The people working there must have been told that a person not only on a wheelchair, but missing a leg was coming. They seemed not to know how to react. Oh, it's fine here. I'll just congratulate my little sister. I'll leave right after that. Once the person in charge brought me to the chapel, I kindly asked him to leave, purposely, with a loud voice. Excuse me, but are you the brides? Yes. I'm her brother. Wait, I thought she was a single child. Hey, Kota, what are you doing here? Why are you here? I told you not to come! My parents came flying over when they saw me talking to one of the relatives. Oh, Mom, Dad, sorry, you told me so much not to come, but I came. Manami asked me to come. Stop playing around! You came here to interrupt the ceremony. You were jealous because you knew she was our favorite child. Coming to her wedding to seek revenge? How could a person like you be related to us? Exactly! What kind of person are you? Lacking a leg is already embarrassing, but you also lack common sense! Who did you say is lacking common sense? Take a look at the people around us. The people seem to have realized what kind of situation we were in. My parents explained everything themselves. Everyone was staring them down with a cold gaze. Onichan, you were able to make it! Manami, what were you thinking? Why did you invite Kota? We didn't even tell him about the date nor the venue! You betrayed your parents! Stop it! Mom, Dad, I can't stand being your puppet anymore! Onichan lost his leg because he saved me! And the way you've been treating him after that made me hate you! I don't even want to think about you two as my parents when you try to get me married just for money and financial support. I'd made up my mind. Had you let him in without bothering him, I would have gotten married. Sadly, that didn't happen. Now I'm not getting married and I'll be leaving the house too. Wh what? Are you insane? If you don't get married, we... That's when my parents realized that everyone was watching. Everyone heard what their plan was, including the groom and his parents. After that, Manami left the house and started to live alone. Not to mention, the marriage was cancelled. It was decided that my parents were to pay off all of the fees for the venue and consolation money for the guests. Manami said that she would also pay, but the groom's side said that she was also a victim and they wouldn't accept any money from her. Manami was moved by the groom's words and they continued to stay in touch even after the wedding got cancelled. After they revealed their true selves to each other, they began to fall in love, and now they are in a true relationship. If I were in his shoes, I wouldn't be able to forgive a person who messed up my own wedding, but not only did he forgive me, he told me that he was so sorry for what I had to go through. Is that so? He seems to be a nice guy, and take good care of him. Yes, if we ever decide to get married, this time you have to come to the wedding, okay? I'm definitely going to invite you. Of course. Eventually, the two got married. I was invited to a small wedding party where only relatives were invited. I couldn't stop crying. Both the groom and none of me were worried if I was alright. My parents, they weren't there. 
After what had happened, my parents had to sell their house to cover the venue fees. And then they disappeared. According to one of our relatives, they had accumulated a lot of debt because of their business. And rumor has it that they were put on a sketchy ship or something like that. I don't know the truth, but all I can do is pray for them to never appear in front of us ever again. By the way, as for me, Manami's husband introduced me to this woman, and I'm just going to say we're on pretty good terms. We live in a really small world, don't we? I'm going to protect my happy life at all costs.